So hello and welcome everyone. So this is the most basic video you will ever find to start in the find element modeling. So to all the engineering students and anyone who want to learn find element modeling but have absolutely no idea where to begin from. So yes guys you have landed the right place and to guide you through this I'll be starting with the most basic example of a plate bending, the static plate bending of a steel plate. And yeah for this we'll be taking our problem statement as this so yeah we'll be taking two boundary conditions one of them is the simply supported boundary condition whereas the next one is the uh, clamped or fixed as uh, boundary condition at all four edges so and we'll be applying the pressure load a uh, uniform pressure load of around 100 psi i guess and we'll be doing and we'll be uh, checking the deflection in the jet direction and we can also check other things as like uh, misses bone misses stress the energy concentration and we can plot the stress contours as well so yeah the problem statement so we'll be having a square plate of one meter dimension with a thickness of 0.1 meter and the elastic mechanical properties of the Young's modulus as 10920 whereas the Poisson's ratio at 0.3 and we'll be applying the pressure of 100 psi that is pound per square inch yeah and yeah so as this is the basic video so to complete this modeling and analysis, uh, you just have to remember all these 11 steps. So I have uh, divided the whole process into 11 steps. So if you can remember this order, uh, it will be very easy for you to continue the modeling. So let's start. So yeah, this is our problem statement. So yeah, after downloading this uh, Abacus student version, uh, student version, so after opening you will get this uh, UI. So just start with, uh, with standard explicit model. Yeah, so by default, the Vacos assigns you the name as model one. So, you, uh, so if you want, you can rename this as okay. So, static plate bending. Okay, so the first step would be to define the part. So just double click on this, and okay, the the first part. Okay, we have just we have only one part in this whole analysis that is our steel plate. So just write like steel plate part. Okay, so it's still place. So the modeling space would be 3D, and the type would be deformable. And our steel plate is a shell element, and with the uh, planar type, yeah. So the solid is. Uh, there are different types of shapes like uh, solid, wire, point. Uh, for uh, thin plate, we will be using the shell. And for approximate size, you can take anything like okay, 30. Okay, so after clicking this, uh, they will assign us this. Uh, platform to draw our part so just uh, our for rectangle just click on this and draw of any size and to resize it uh, you can click this add dimension part okay check the dimension it is 5.88 but we want it as 1.0 so write 1.0 okay and for this as well write 1.0 okay and okay done so we have our first part yeah, so we have our part of one by one meter dimension so the second step would be defining the material properties so a double click on materials okay our steel material and okay for general uh, density okay so for mass density for steel is around 7872 and yeah the mechanical elastic properties yeah Young's modulus is 10920 and poison ratio is 0 0.3 uh, yeah, type isotropic and for the basic analysis you don't have to change anything apart from this okay so we have done we have uh, assigned parts and materials the third step is to be uh, defining the section properties so just go to sections okay our section let's just rename it with anything you want and our category is cell element and homogeneous so type is homogeneous because uh, there is stiffness in the plane of surface as well as some bending stiffness so just uh, click to homogeneous and yeah so section integration are there are two types uh, during analysis and before analysis so as we have some non-linear portion in our analysis so just uh, click uh, during analysis for section integration so cell thickness they have access the cell thickness and we have 0.1 meter as our cell thickness so material is a steel material as we have defined earlier and the thickness integration rule is uh, there are two types of options simpson and gauss so Simpson is used for heat transfer and it is also used to solve the result in uh, the surface of the planar element whereas Gauss has three point 
so we'll just be using Simpson for our normal analysis and there will be five point and uh, in five integration points so just click OK okay so we have also defined the sections so the fourth step would be to assign section to the plate so just go to parts steel plate and section assignment so what they have said is select the regions to be assigned okay so we need to select all this part and click done so yeah the section is plate section we have already defined this we have already defined the type as cell homogeneous we have already defined the material as steel material and the assignment is from section and this uh, cell offset is basically a reference point and we can just choose middle surface here so okay so we have completed four steps after assigning the section to the plate now the fifth step is to create the assembly so to do this just go to assembly and we'll be defining instances so double click on instances and yeah the parts is the steel plate we have defined already in this parts and the instant type is the dependent type that is the missing on part just click ok and yeah we have completed this step as well so yeah we have uh, we have completed five steps so the next step will be to create a step so to this just double click on steps and write as okay so let's rename it as load step so we'll be defining our load in this step so it's procedure type is general static general continue okay description so uh, we'll be defining it as okay apply pressure load of 100 psi yeah so in this uh, so basically for this load step we have defined it as like this so this NLGOCOM so what this basically means is that for plate bending analysis so when the plate, plate just starts bending or when the plate is flat it has some bending stiffness so after bending a little some bending is registered by uh, in-plane membrane effects so we have to update stiffness matrix to include this in-plane membrane effects and it basically becomes a geometrically nonlinear problem so by turning it on we'll be analyzing its nonlinear part as well so click on ok so okay so we have also completed step 6 so step 7 would be select outputs you want so you can see that field output re uh, results so uh, it has already made one so we'll be renaming it as whatever we want so we want stress and deflection as output so rename it and just double click on this yeah so stress we want stress strains as output so displacement forces contact okay just click energy okay so and for the history outputs okay, let's just edit this okay, we want displacement forces contacts energy okay so yeah these are so we have uh, selected what outputs we want as well so we have also completed step seven so for the step eight we have to assign the boundary conditions so yeah so here it is boundary conditions just go to boundary conditions so as we know we will be doing for two type of boundary conditions so for the first one just click uh, we will be defining the simply supported boundary condition okay so step is mm, so you can click the step as initial this displacement rotation yeah for the displacement and rotation so select regions for the boundary conditions so we want to assign the boundary conditions at all four edges so go here and edges and select all so it will be selecting only the edges click done so yeah so we have to define the boundary conditions so the simply supported condition is like this one so we'll be just registering the uh, deflection in the vertical direction that is the u3 or uz direction so u3 u3 is the vertical direction so registering this click ok yeah so yeah this is our so this is our simply supported condition boundary condition so after that let us apply some loads yeah then step 9 will be assigning loads 
so just click on so wait so let's just make this and let's drag it here let's make it vertical okay so click on loads so name of load is pressure load and the step is load step yeah so what type of uh, for the mechanical load our load type is pressure load click ok and it says select surface for the load so ok on this surface so choose a side for the shell or internal surfaces so there are two types of say, purple side and brown side so for this support condition we need uh, to apply load on the brown side so yeah, on the brown side and the type is uniform and magnitude is 100 psi so sorry yeah so this means the unit is the 100 psi the amplitude is ram just click ok and yeah see so this is the this is the simply simply supported uh, boundary condition and these are the loads applied so after assigning loads okay wait i have so you have also so you also need to mesh this so after applying all this so the find element analysis is all about missing so go to mess or pick on mess and the outbreak okay so we have to see it like uh, we have to define how many uh, elements we want and how many nodes we want so just click on this so uh, the dimension is one meter so let's just zero point if we like if we determine the global size at 0 0.05 it will be dividing it into 20 parts so click apply click ok and if you click on this mesh part and click yes so yeah this is our find element mesh so we have 20 elements in both directions and it says that 400 elements have been generated on part yeah so this is the basic configuration we have completed all the configurations for this now to check the results what we have to do we have to create job so go to job and yeah create the name of job like so so bending analysis for example yeah the source is model the bending analysis so we don't have to write any description here so everything is okay just click okay so yeah we have created a job and we have to submit this job submit now the Avaca software will check for anything any problem if they have so sometimes like uh, if you don't provide the boundary conditions properly and if like uh, there are there is a lot of load and if it uh, and if the Avaca software can't compute so it will show some error but now yeah job bending analysis completed successfully so yeah you can just click on results and now we get we can get the result here so what do we want to see is like from here we can get the uh, contours plot contours of the deform shape so yeah so this is the contour you can see this is the deflected shape as well and so this is for the bone misses stress so if you want to check the deflection in the jet direction this is u is the deflection and the magnitude is the u3 direction so yeah the u3 direction so this is the maximum displacement is at the center so yeah this is the deflection so and if you don't want to plot the contour then just click this and this so this is the basic deflected shape and you can uh, derive other data as well if from this uh, create xy data and so for uh, basic analysis uh, you can just uh, show this deflected shape and see the um, maximum deflection and you can also do some fancy things like animate this yeah yeah so this is for the okay so this is for the um, simply support condition so the next condition is the next boundary condition was clamp condition uh, let's say fixed condition Condition initial 
displacement okay so select conditions so as is done so for clamp condition check all these because uh, the clamp condition basically means a fixed condition so we have to restrain in all these directions so yeah so as you can see it is restraining in all the directions so yeah, this is the clamp condition and we have already done the load so we can create new job so write this clamped condition the source is the model and we don't need to do anything here so clamp conditions of just submit it yeah so it's so that job uh, clamp condition has been completed successfully so just check for the results yeah for the clamp condition okay so this is for the clamp condition so if you want to see the deflection let's go here u3 okay yeah, for clamp condition like you have less deflection so guys yeah this is the most basic analysis so with this i hope you can at least do like uh, for different shapes you can check on uh, different things uh, you can just see here anything you can see so this is for the misses stress in plain principle tresca stress you know tresca and von misses are the most defining uh, stress parameters so yeah you can just toggle around and just have fun with uh, various options that Backus has for you so thank you guys so in the next video we'll be doing uh, some perforated plates some composite plates so this is the basic plate and I guess we'll also be doing some lead rubber bearings. So thank you guys. Stay tuned.